Hi guys, Kelvin here. Welcome to another knowledge video. This time we'll be talking about display port differences. Let's start with VGA or known as DSAP, which is commonly found in office PCs, low-end PCs, monitors, as well as projectors. The reason here is for universal reach and compatibility. Now back in those days, monitor weren't why? They were very squarish supporting an aspect ratio of 5x4 or 4x3 aspect ratio. And it has a maximum resolution of 2048 pixels by 1536 pixels at 85 hertz. This was succeeded by DVI which comes in three main variants which is analog only, digital only or analog plus digital. To make matters confusing, it comes in total of five variants, which is a combination with single or dual link. You don't need to get confused. All you need to know is by now it supports the 16 by 9 aspect ratio. This is where you can view your movie content, play games at the aspect ratio. Now all you need to know is analog or single link supports 1900 by 1200 pixels resolution at 60 hertz. The dual link boost it up a little bit further by 2560 pixels by 1600 pixels resolution at 60 hertz. Yes, at this time with dual link it's possible to go 4K resolution but your refresh rate is half at 33 hertz. So with five different variants like this it can be confusing for an average Joe. First comes HDMI which is practically found in every modern electronics. It supports multi-channel audio, better color than VGA DVI, 3D, sync technology like your AMD's FreeSync technology or NVIDIA's G-Sync technology. Though it comes in three main variants right now that supports different refresh rate at different resolution and features. So you need to know the difference to meet your needs. Let's start with HDMI 1.4. At this moment, it supports 4K at 30Hz, Full HD at 120Hz though no support for 21 by 9 aspect ratio so if you're looking for a wide monitor 1.4 is out of the topic. The confusion starts with HDMI 2.0 and 2.1. Both are totally different from one another and it's not just a small incremental change. HDMI 2.0 does 4K at 60Hz with no HDR support but it supports the 21 by 9 aspect ratio. Whereas HDMI 2.0 does 4K, 5K, 8K, 10K video resolution at 120Hz twice more than the HDMI 2.0 with support of the 21 by 9 aspect ratio as well as HDR support. HDMI's rival and my personal favorite will be DisplayPort which is compatible with all dimension ports earlier through active and passive adapter. It's similar to HDMI with the core difference being having a better higher refresh rate as well as support for 21 by 9 aspect ratio directly. I'm going to talk about the current 1.4 version with the display stream compression which supports 8K at 60Hz and 4K at 120Hz with 30 pixels RGB color and HDR. Without the display stream compression, yes, it can do 4K at 120Hz, 5K at 60Hz, 8K at 30Hz, but with 1440p and Full HD at 240Hz. This is where gamers would rejoice especially when using high refresh rate monitors. This is where we can play games smoothly with high frame rates slash high hertz. For my Apple fans and bros out there, Thunderbolt Display, it comes in three versions. The first two versions actually supports the mini DisplayPort standard, whereas version 3, which is the latest one, supports Type-C connector. This is where you find modern monitors uses Type-C Thunderbolt to drive its display data and so on. Now, all these versions right here is based on DisplayPort specification as its underlying technology. Now, let's talk about the V3 which is the current new juice and wow factor. Basically, it can from a single port, it can drive two 4K monitors at 60Hz or a single 4K monitor at 120Hz or a 5K monitor at 60 hertz. So here is a simple table to show the resolution and frequency that each standard supports. More importantly for gaming, if you are looking for sync technology like FreeSync and G-Sync, go with HDMI or DisplayPort because they can support a higher refresh rate at a higher resolution, great for gaming experience. So practically that's it about DisplayPort and the only thing you need to know is based on their variance and version what resolution it supports and what refresh rate and what other extra stuff it supports. 
So practically that is simple. With this video, you practically have every knowledge about DisplayPort currently up to date. So thanks for watching this video. Comment below what other knowledge video we should talk next on what topic we should do next. And remember to subscribe and like this video so we can encourage more companies to send us stuff for review. So see you guys in the next video. I wonder what next I can talk about. Hmm. <laughs> hmm.